It is Sunday, the 17th of October, 2021. A incredibly warm welcome to this Lazy Sunday edition. And what's happening in the show? Well, let's show you. Chinese hydropower giants are irreversibly damaging biodiversity. A new report explains how. And there is an emu, I think. Just before we get underway, um, I just want to bring the attention to this. Subscribers, not subscribed is 53.9%. So if you haven't subscribed or it's you need to resubscribe, please do so. It really does help the channel. Now, some other housekeeping as well is this. Yesterday I made my video. I was in a little bit of a hurry and I did it on my iPad. Um, many thanks to Donald and quite a few others that the sound wasn't very clear. But I have checked it for today. You can see this. What we are doing is checking the microphone, checking the microphone, checking the microphone, checking the microphone, checking the microphone. Is it working? Okay, first of all, what is happening with the Free Gorded Dam? Well, the web stream, the camera, as of this morning on the 17th, was down and live stream recording is not available. I don't know where they bought their webcam from, but maybe they bought it from, I don't know, the one R and B store doesn't seem to be very reliable at all. Maybe they need to get it from Radio Shack, which would be much better, or Best Buy. And here you can see the levels. This time it is in English, which is good. And it seems to have gone down just a small tad at 172 point, I think that says nine. And the other one of interest is Kutan, which has gone up because it's in red at 174.81. And that is what's happening with the dam as of today on Sunday the 17th. There's not much more information I can find. Let's have a look at the next article. This one I really can't confirm. This was just a email that was sent to me. James, free gorgeous dam, the perfect storm, water flowing through 11 gates and eight generations puts addition, additional pressure force on the dam structure. When the water level approaches highest level with gates and generators flowing, this is the situation for the perfect storm. Well, Thank you very much for the information sharing. I can totally agree with you that the Free Gorgia Dam... Mm, that's what I needed. The Free Gorgia Dam does have 11 sluice gates. It is at very high levels at 172. Yesterday, someone reported 173, but we have no live stream to verify this. And again, if you're putting some of the generators on operation, it's going to put a bucket load of pressure on it. But let's have a hop into the weather, and it looks a little bit like this. And also a quick look at the earthquakes in China. It's three of them in the last, you could say, three or four days, I do believe. And in Tibet and in Tibet, I really can't read this. And I do believe there was another one in Mongolia. Not 
shattering ones all around about 4.5 or 4.1 to 4.6, etc. This was quite interesting. Found this one for you. Will three will the Free Gorges Dam collapse by the end of 2021? And this survey done by a company or a website called Future, Future, 78% say no and 22% say yes, it will. I would go with the actual 78% that it won't. Why? End of the season, end of the flood season, just going to be generating electricity, the water, the rains, the floods, etc., will slowly die out eventually, and there will be no kind of maximum stress. But if we go back to the article earlier, there is a lot of pressure at the dam at the moment. So many times, actually, you could say you would expect the normality. Look at Brexit, for example, in the UK. I would say that most people would say it wouldn't happen, but it was like 52%. I was shocked. So, an old saying, expect the unexpected. And still with the same article from this web website, Future. <laughs> it's quite a good name, actually. The Free Gorges Dam is the world's biggest hydroelectric power and is located in Yingchang, China. Apart from en generating energy, the dam was constructed to control floods in the Yangtze River. Yeah, we know that. China rainy season comes in June, and this year the country is facing severe floods. It's actually every year with that one. The first flood in the upper reaches of the Yangtze River was formed on the 2nd of July, and there have been water discharges from the reservoir to alleviate the situation. If the water discharges are insufficient, and the Free Gorges Dam collapses in any way by the end of 2020, I think they got it wrong, 2021, this market will be resolved. Yes. I'm not too sure if I really understand that, but sharing information. Here is a message or a comment from Fred. Where is the water going once it passes through the turbine? Well, being at first quite naive about the dam, I thought that the water started at the, the reservoir, then it went to the turbine, then the sluice gates would be the discharge. But I seem to have learned a bit about the Free Gorges Dam. And if you look at the picture here, it will show just the Free Gorges Dam with none of the sluice gates open. The water comes from the reservoir, but from the ground of the reservoir. And that's the inflow for you. Then it goes through the turbines. Then, if you're facing the Free Gorges Dam, on the left-hand side is where they discharge the water, but underwater. So if you ever see the front stream of the Free Gorges Dam, you will see water flowing from left to right of the picture. I hope, Fred, that answers your question. And related to this title, Chinese hydropower giants are irreversibly damaging biodiversity. A new report explains how. Let's have a read of this. Over the past decades, many rivers have become increasingly fragmented due to the construction of hydropower dams and wadding products, resulting in a major environmental and ecological impacts on rivers themselves and adjacent coastal areas. In particular, river damming alters the flow and sediment conditions that together modify the conditions in the downstream river course. Consequently, to the introduction of the dam in a river, a long-term equilibrium, wow, big word, in the river takes form with time, which incarcerates the interplay between the, between the nature and the human beings. And this, I think, was from Bloomberg. It continues to say, 
two Chinese hydro power giants from the for the concentration of the I can't read this. God, I need it magnified. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, it is magnified. Two Chinese hydropower giants account for the construction of over half of the world's dams, and these dams have been causing irreversible damage to some of the most ecological sensitive sites and various species. The two dam builders, Power China and China Free Gorges, that clearly define no-go policies to exclude problematic projects that harm the environment, according to a recent report by International Rivers, a non-profit. The report examined six projects, each from the parent companies, and found that the projects affected protected areas, home to many biodiversity, accelerated biodiversity loss that harmed the interest of other indigenous people. Built dams that particularly critical endanger great ape populations, amongst others. We're seeing a worrisome trend where the scale of the pace of biodiversity impacts new dams is actually getting worse, according to Joshua from International Rivers. It continues to say the renewable giant. China leaders aren't afraid of bold undertakings with big costs. In the latest example of that daring, not President Winnie the Pooh or Xi Jinping or General Secretary announced this week that he started building a huge renewable energy project, the first phase which will have 100 gigawatts of wind and solar capacity. That's four times more than the Free Gorda Dam generates in and more than all the wind and solar power in India. The need is clear, as shown in the current electricity shortage that snarled the industry. If China wants to hit climate goals without hamstringing the economy, it needs to build up its renewable capacity. So, in a nutshell, China will continue to build these very large dams in order supposedly to meet their goal of renewable energy or very little emissions in the next 40, less than 40 years. But the impact is going to be the environment in the way of, as we talked about, biodiversity. So maybe the environment and the pollution will get better but building does come at a cost, and they seem to have I don't really care attitude. Okay, let's get into the fun stuff rather than the doom and gloom. Got to say hello to Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Thank you so much. She is my latest member in on Patreon. And if you want to support the channel, you can do. Just go to the link in the description below. But now it's time for even a happier occasion and... It's a birthday. Whose birthday is it? Well, this is from someone I can't read. It is my oldest son's birthday. Isn't it exciting? He's 40 years old. So true. Glory to God. Thank you for your videos. Well, the son of this person, congratulations. I hope you have a wonderful day. Here is the birthday song. And for no apparent reason at all, None at all. Here's an emu and the birthday wishes. That brings us to a close of this Sunday edition related to China, the Free Gorges, my channel, etc. As always, I would a general thank you to all my viewers, subscribers and non-subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I, w I was actually hoping that I may get to 30,000 subscribers by the end of this month, but hey, only about 800 to go, no problem at all. If you want to support, yeah, you can go to Patreon, that's in the link there. You can become a member of the channel, that's in the link there. But really what I want is just a like and a kiss. 
and a cuddle and a nice cup of coffee. I will see you tomorrow on Monday, hopefully, if all goes well. Enjoy the Sunday, have a restful Sunday, and I will say Ali Vidurci. Ciao for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>